welcome to Singapore. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another day at sea. I hope you guys are doing really really well. Today's vlog is a really special vlog because I am currently docked in the port of Singapore. Now, this voyage that we're going to be doing is from Singapore to Thailand. We're doing a reverse voyage to what we did in the past. So I decided to vlog through the entire voyage and also talk to you a little bit about my experiences sailing through Singapore Straits and coastal waters of Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia and then heading to the Gulf of Thailand. This is the beautiful birth of Singapore. We always come here to load cargo. For most of you who are future seafarers or most of you who are already cadets who are already sailing, pretty sure you guys have heard of Singapore being one of the busiest ports in the world. And you can actually see that over here. The entire port is so well developed. One of the most important aspects as a navigator is the fact that you have to transit the Singapore Straits, which is one of the busiest waterways in the world. It's basically a waterway which is 114 kilometers long. It has Singapore on the north and Indonesia on the south. It also has parts of Malaysia on the north and it is only 16 meters wide and there is also shallow depth so you have to be really really careful. You have to be on your toes. A lot of you might not know this but the maximum depth that we have in the Singapore Straits is only 22 meters and there are ships which have very high drafts. You have to be very very careful when you're navigating through these waters. Now, something that you may not know about Singapore Straits is that at, at any given point in time there is more than 1,000 vessels in the port of Singapore. Basically, every day around 2,000 vessels transit the Singapore Straits and this waterway. So you can imagine 2,000 vessels in a 114 kilometer long, 16 meter wide waterway transiting each and every day. It's also one of the largest ports with respect to bunkering and fuel oil supply. And Singapore is actually known to be the second largest container port in the world. And I think you guys can actually see that. We have a mega container terminal set up over there. Now I gotta go prepare the woods for departure and get my noon reports done. I just finished my watch. So I came up to the bridge to talk to you guys and show you this fantastic view right in front of me. So yeah, the vlog continues. I hope you enjoy. This is our new captain, Captain Royal. Welcome to the vlog. Hi. So we have some Chinese today, different varieties of chicken. Should be fun. in CCR we just completed the cargo operation there's nothing going on we're just securing everything on deck and getting ready for the pilot what you making you guys you guys remember Albert what you making Pancit Canton from Philippines this is it's Filipino good. noodles yeah oh these are hot noodles huh yeah. so hot noodles at night we're still waiting for the pilot we haven't departed so I'm currently outside the accommodation I'm on the seaside and the lights that you can see tonight at Singapore is fantastic. It looks super amazing, you guys. This is our main deck over here. We have our nitrogen tanks over there. And that is the port of Singapore. It is gorgeous, you guys. That's the best part about being in port at night. You can see so many different lights. You get to see so much movement. You actually feel alive. Beautiful lights and the skyline is absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mooring stations, unmooring, we are leaving the port. So we finally picked up our stern lines, we're now gonna pick up our spring lines. Fitters here, the entire gang is here. This is unmooring. As you can see, the ship is now moving out of the jetty. I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly because of all the wind. It is 5.45 in the morning and we're officially heading to Anchorage. What's up, 
you guys? It is another day. We are finally at the anchorage. It is the afternoon watch for me. I have just come up to the bridge a couple of hours ago and we are now at the dangerous cargo anchorage in Singapore. We're waiting for the next pilot to take us out of here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is my ship currently and everything else, all of these are other ships. As you can see, the triangles on top of each target signifies another vessel. As you guys can see, there are vessels very, very close. All of these ships are currently on anchor. The vessel in front of me is a mega container ship. We have a tanker ship right there, which is from Aurora Tankers, and you have a mega container ship right there. These are all ships anchored next to us at this point in time. So this is the ship's current position. This is where we are inside the anchorage. We're going to get out from here, head down here. And as you guys can see, there are arrows here on the screen. The arrows go in one direction. You have larger arrows over here showing the direction of general traffic flow. So we're going to follow the traffic separation scheme. Our route is in the continuous eastbound lane and it's going to continue till we exit the Singapore Strait. you guys we are finally out we're getting out we're transiting the singapore straits i'm going to keep giving you live updates of what it looks like on deck so that you guys can actually experience this with me but look at this it is insane look at the clouds today it is drop dead gorgeous out here there's a lot of traffic and that is the entire port of singapore back there pretty amazing the things that you get to see at sea especially transiting hectic areas such as singapore straits gibraltar straits a lot of fun it's a learning experience and once you start doing it, you just start loving it. What you're looking at behind me is known as the wake of the ship. The wake of the ship is basically how the ship cuts through water. You see the water cut that the ship creates when she's moving through the water and how the propeller churns and creates this wake, this motion in the water. This is known as the wake of the ship. Often you can look at the wake of the ship and understand which direction she's going. If she's going right ahead, if she's turning. So yeah, this is something that you guys don't get to see on land and I hope you guys are enjoying this. What's up you guys? It is another day. We have officially departed the Singapore Straits as you guys already saw. We are east of Malaysia right now in the South China Sea and it is a beautiful day at sea. The sun isn't too hot today. It's a nice cloudy sky and I absolutely love the way it looks outside. As you guys can see the crew is on deck. We have a few guys forward, they're preparing the ropes for arrival because we're arriving in two days. A little bit of maintenance work going on because it's a beautiful day to maintain your vessel. As you guys can see, I'm on the bridge. We have a couple of fishing boats in the area, not too many, just a few. But compared to China, this is super peaceful. You guys probably just saw me using the SAT C, which is the GMDS's equipment to send some kind of report. And normally we don't use SAT Cs to send reports, everything goes via email and online systems. But in the particular area that we're sailing in right now, which is the South China Sea, we are in a piracy zone, a high risk zone. So we're sending something known as an IFC report. This is a voluntary report. It's not mandatory for all ships to send it. We carry cargo that belongs to Shell as well as Oddfell. So because of the requirements of the charters, we normally send these reports every day. I'm going to show you guys something so, so cool. We just received provisions in Singapore. So of course, our pantry area is filled up with your basic Milo and your sugar, your coffee, honey. But inside this little locker, we have new tea, we have coffee creamers, we have special biscuits that have come all the way from Philippines, and we have chocolate chip cookies. We've literally stocked up the bridge. Normally, me and the third man will grab a coffee over here, make our coffees, go stand ahead by the window, enjoy our coffee, and just kick back, enjoy the open sea. We're super pumped about this. I was just informed that we have drills today. So the third officer will be on the bridge because his duty is to stay on the bridge and I have to go down to do perform the safety drills. So that's what we're going to do. The alarm you can hear is the emergency alarm. The drill has finally begun. Having fun? Yes, really. You like fighting fires? <laughs> What's hotter, engine room or deck? 
Engine room is hotter, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm going for the abandoned ship room. And I'm going to check out the launching of rescue boats, explain it to all the crew. What's up you guys, as you guys can see it's a super gloomy day. We are now entering the Gulf of Thailand. It is day 3 of the voyage. There's a bunch of fishing boats all around. It is raining and the weather has deteriorated and this is pretty much a common phenomena in the South China Sea. Albert, can you come to the bridge please? Here's a quick glimpse of what the weather looks like. The sun is gone, it's not a beautiful day anymore, it's a gloomy day. I don't mind these kind of days at sea. I think they have their own charm. Here's a quick view of where we are. We have a couple of platforms here on this side. We have small islands. We, these are Thai islands basically on this side. That's our ship and there's a bunch of fishing traffic around the area. And Albert is on the bridge. Albert, Yo. what's up? What's up? Man? You like the weather today? Yes. You like gloomy weather? Yes. Really? Yes. Albert had to go down for some important work. The chief mate needs him on deck. There's always operations happening on deck. So now we're filling up our tanks with nitrogen. So it's just me on the bridge. So I'm going to focus on navigation and avoid doing any excessive paperwork. Albert, what's As you guys can see, it is a brand new day and we are arriving the port of Rayong in Thailand today. Today we don't have Albert on the bridge, we have Raymat on the bridge. Yes, sir. Raymat is the new guy on board. You've been here before, yes? Yeah, I've been here. You've done two contracts on this vessel? Yes. yes. Alright. So Raymat is new to the ship, he's new to the vlog, but he's an old crew member, he knows everything that's happening here. We're going to be entering Thailand today. It is a beautiful warm day as compared to yesterday. Yesterday it was raining all day. Today the weather is fantastic. I'm going to give you guys a quick glimpse. Check it out. Okay, you guys, that is it from today's vlog. We have finally reached the port of Rayong. As you guys already saw, we are in Thailand. This is the end of the journey from Singapore to Thailand. I hope you enjoyed sailing with me. And if you did, definitely, definitely give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And I cannot wait to see you in the next episode of Life at Sea. Thanks for watching.